In the video today, we are answering a viewer question because M. Havens asks us, where did the Taps song come from that is played during military funerals? Since 1862, Taps has played at US military funerals to honor the sacrifice of fallen service members. Originally, however, it was intended to send soldiers off into a less than permanent sleep. During the Civil War, Union buglers signaled lights out to their comrades with a tune called Extinguish Lights, which was actually borrowed from an 1809 French bugle call. Finding the song too formal, in July of 1862, Union Army General Daniel Butterfield decided to find a more appealing tune to end the day. During a respite while his brigade was camping at Harrison's Landing after the Seven Days Battle of the Peninsula Campaign, Butterfield worked on the new tune. In collaboration with his bugler, Oliver Wilcox, Norton, the two rearranged an earlier bugle call called Scott Tattoo into the 24 notes of taps. General Daniel Butterfield sent for me, and showing me some notes on a staff written in pencil on the back of an envelope, asked me to sound them on my bugle. I did this several times, playing the music as written. He changed it somewhat, lengthening some notes and shortening others, but retaining the melody as he first gave it to me. After getting it to his satisfaction, he directed me to sound that call for taps thereafter in place of the regulation call. In keeping with its initial purpose, the first and informal lyrics to the song were simply Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, put out the lights, put out the lights, put out the lights. Highly creative. Norton later recalled the first time he played Taps at Lights Out in July of 1862 and its reception. The music was beautiful on that still summer night and was heard far beyond the limits of our brigade. The next day I was visited by several buglers from neighboring brigades asking for copies of the music, which I gladly furnished. I think no general order was issued from army headquarters authorizing the substitution of this for the regulation call, but as each brigade commander exercised his own discretion in such minor matters, the call was gradually taken up through the army of the Potomac. As for how it got extended to funerals, Taps was first played at a military funeral during the Peninsula Campaign in 1862 on the orders of Captain John C. Tidball of Battery A, 2nd Artillery. Tidball's group was concealed in the woods near the enemy position when a well-respected soldier was killed. Fearing that firing three volleys would be unsafe, Tidball stated later, The thought suggested itself to me to sound Taps instead, which I did. It quickly became popular throughout the army, a fact of which Captain Tidball remained proud. Battery A has the honor of having introduced this custom into the service, and it is worthy of historical note. Taps formally became a mandatory part of army funeral ceremonies in 1891, perhaps in part because General Butterfield, now retired, oversaw the funeral of General William Tecumseh Sherman, also in 1891. Today, Taps is played every day at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and every night at the Arlington National Cemetery, according to the Tomb Guard website, both to call an end to the day and as a tribute to those that gave the last full measure of devotion. As part of the 2013 Defense Authorization Act, Congress also designated Taps the National Song of Remembrance. However, qualified buglers are becoming increasingly rare, giving rise to digital bugles which look and sound authentic but require only the switch of a button to activate. This makes it so members of the funeral details are not required to have musical training. Today, it's estimated that well over 10,000 electronic bugles are used in this way by the U.S. military and various service-related organizations. That said, although many cannot discern the difference between digital and live taps, buglers can. Thousands have joined together to form Bugles Across America, an organization whose volunteers play taps at military funerals where loved ones desire a live performance. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. For more from me, why not check out my other channel called Biographics? I'm going to link to that below. And as always, thank you for watching.